There's been um, this question that's floating around, and it seems to come back to the fundamentals of understanding mathematics rather than just applying a formula. So the question, if you don't mind me asking yeah. you it, just to get your take on it, is what's the answer to the equation 8 divided by 2 and then 2 plus 2? And somebody that's learned BODMAS and PEMDAS, I come straight out and I think, well, it, it's 16. But there's a lot of people out there that are saying that it's 1 as well. And my understanding is that both these answers are accurate, but it seems to come back to what you were saying that these two things aren't understood at the, the very core concept level of what it is, so we need to go back to that initial understanding of what the equation is. But can you give us your take on well, what that is? The interesting thing is, you just explained, you just gave me the question in words, and in words, it was fairly clear what you were talking about. That only becomes a problem when you try to write that down as a formula with symbols. And then, if you're not careful, you can write down something that doesn't meet the grammatical rules. It's like, you know, you could, it's a sort of a jabberwocky sentence. The way that has been shown on the web, it's written in a way that's completely ambiguous, which means it's not a permissible formula, it's not a permissible equation. You need, to, if you're using symbols, symbols are very precise, but their grammar is very precise too. It's like computer programming, a comma in the wrong place can make all of the difference between something powerful and something nonsensical. That formula was written down in a way that doesn't make sense. You can interpret it one of two ways, the answer could be either 16 or 1. So in a sense, both are possible answers. Neither is correct because there is no actual question. It's just ambiguous, completely ambiguous. And if it's ambiguous, you, you can answer it one way or the other. So both answers are correct. Neither answer is correct. Really what has been showing up is if someone actually wrote that formula down like that, they should not be writing it down that way. They need to learn how to write formulas. Mathematics is powerful, very precise, but that precision means you have to write things down properly. And if you don't, you end up with these, these silly debates. It was absolutely silly because it was not about mathematics. It's not, the, it's not the case that there is an equation that has two answers. It's the case that someone had written down an equation that actually made no sense. It wasn't an equation. Mm -hmm.